Welcome, this is item number 7 from the released Spring 2014 test items for 7th grade TCAP math. So the question says the list shows the number of each type of song loaded on Myra's music player. 9 country, 11 rock and roll, 10 hip hop songs. Why does she only have that many songs? I mean, I hope it's a small music player. Anyway, the music player will randomly select one song to play. What is the probability that a country song will be selected? The big deal here is they said probability. Every time you see the word probability, you need to think of total, because it's the first thing that you always have to do. Sometimes they're nice and give it to you, this time they're not. Shocker. But the total is what you need to find first, it's important. So I'm going to add 9 plus 10 plus 11 and end up with 30. That's my total. I just added these numbers together. That's all I did. Once you get that, for probability, it's essentially what's referred to as the preferred item over the total. Or if you want to think about it in a different way, it's what you want over all you've got. And by the way, English teachers, I know it's all you have, but if you have want and got, it kind of makes it memorable. So I know it's bad English. I'm sorry. What you want or all you've got. I'm sorry, English people or math people who are just good at English. Um, I know it's wrong. I'm just telling you. It's easier to remember what you got over all you, uh, what you want over all you've got. What you want, all you've got. So all I've got is 30. What I want is, it's not really what I want, it's what the question wants. But you, in this sense, would be you're asking this question. What you want to know about is what's the probability of a country song. So the question wants a country song. So all I've got is 30. What I want, country, 9. Uh, can you reduce? Of course. If you have a calculator that will reduce, you can do that. And, you know, I would suggest it just to be super um, thorough on how you get these. I mean, really, this test, you have to sit here and take it. It's really annoying to take a TCAP test, I know. So you should destroy the test and do a really good job on it just to show them it's beneath you. Like, I'm so much better than this test, and I'll, sh I'll prove it. If you bomb it, you just look like, well, these kids need to keep taking these tests because they're not ever going to do anything in their lives. Ugh, I hate that sort of condescension. But anyway, let's put in 9 over 30. And then I want to simplify this, so I'll kick out here. I'll actually go ahead and hit enter just to give it, get its brain in order. So simplify. And depending on what calculator you have, it may simplify for you. Or depending on, um, it may go all the way to the simplification after the first time you hit simplify. This one may or may not. So be careful. Hit simplify and then hit it again if you're using this TI-34. And you want to make sure you have the same answer twice. So 3 over 10, 3 over 10. That means the calculator is saying, like, what do you want from me? I'm done. That's all you can do. So just move on, man. 3 over 10. If you don't have a calculator, what number goes into both of these? Well, 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 30 divided by 3 is 10. So 3 tenths. So having a good number sense makes this question, that part of the question easier. But if you have a calculator and you want to use it, you can use it. I'm not against it. Um, but the big deal about this question is if you see probability, the first thing you need to do is find a total. And once you have a total, it's what you want, over all you've got, reduce, done. And you're out the door. This isn't a difficult question to get correct, so just take your time and do a few things and make it easier on yourself. It's probably a good idea, by the way, to write this part out. I know it's boring to write things on paper, but it's in your best interest so you can get the question correct. Write that part out, then reduce it as opposed to just like typing it in because what if you did something goofy like put 30 over 9 you get something weird and you're like I don't know what to do with this you'll end up put, uh, you'll end up picking something else instead and you don't want to do that so just make sure you write it just like this and then reduce it and everything works fine so the answer incidentally enough to this one is B and that's it